Have a nice day, everyone. Now, we will begin to explain what we can do with the component on the aircraft. This file, this is what in the past from my work at this company, Lotus Air. This sheet you can use used for you and helpful for you by change the company name here, put your company here. Component list as it is, okay. Status date, the report date, you put your date here. And this is the aircraft flying since the new flight hours, you put it here. Aircraft cycle since the new cycle, put it here. This is the delivery date of the aircraft. The second year, aircraft type, if it's Boeing or Airbus or Bombardier or Hawker or anything, aircraft registration. This is the two letters of the country and this is the of aircraft. Aircraft serial number, all line number, you put it here. Okay, take care here that this data in the past you must update your data of your aircraft which you will come you get the component list where for Boeing there is a book called readiness log has a section for component list if Airbus the Airbus has a book called an inspection report and contains a section for component list. Okay, so this is the source. The second step, we pick this sheet here. The first column here, this is Excel sheet. At a, at a system is two digits. Two digits, this is 21 for air conditioning, 22 for autopilot, 23 for communications, 24 for electric power, 25 furnishing and equipment, and so on. So what about this letter here after the digits of the other shop? The F here represents the last letter of the registration of the aircraft. Why? Because when I remove this component from this file and install another. This component, this data, will go to the a file, another file called the removed component. So to represent which aircraft, F or another. The second column is the zone. The zone which is the parts of the aircraft body, I think it's 100, the wings, the engines, the tail, the landing gear, you can go to the chapter 6 and you learn about the zones. The position, 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, 1 or 2 engine, engine one, engine two, engine three, engine four, uh, left engine, right engine, if spoilers, more than one, maybe five, five for left, five for right, and so on. This is the position. The vendor, the vendor or the manufacturer, manufacturer of the this component. This is the name of the vendor. This is the description or the name of the uh, component. Now, the second column, part number. The part number of this component is unique, not repeated. You will not find any part number the same, but the serial number, you can find the same serial number, but in different part number. 
this column the four dimension which calculation i will go to flight hours or flight cycles or calendar i came here i come here with three examples here to show you but the 21 air conditioning has many components here you will put record it here okay 22 has many components you will record here okay this here an installation date an installation date of the component here here aircraft at installation what the status of aircraft at this date how many hours here how many hours here here how many cycles here how many days okay time since new at installation time since inspection at install at installation okay this column here must you must calculate it calculate it manually or easily by computer look here i suggest this form I will make zoom here. Dollar M, dollar two, minus J eight plus K eight. What about the dollar sign here? Why? The dollar sign here to just make this cell constant, not varied. If you drag it, this form, drag it. In the another cell or copy it in another cell without dollar the sign will the value will vary will vary but if the same the, the dollar sign the cell is still constant okay I will show you here this is column 13 this is column 13 and 14 13 and 14 time since new time since inspection and this is the form okay for cycle this is the form i write it here for calendar i write it here okay what about the column number 15 column number 15 here you know there is for any component from the manufacturer must have EASA form number one or FAA certificate, okay? So if the component came with the aircraft since a new, so you will, need, you will not need this certificate. But if you installed it, if you come, came after the aircraft delivery to you so you need this certificate okay please take care if you if you see any error please comment and tell me thank you very much for your interesting and for your comments goodbye